Hi guys, I'm back today to finish reading our book called Math Fables Lessons That Count written by Greg Tang with illustrations by Heather Cahoon. Our publishing company is Scholastic and yesterday we read um, numbers 1 through 5 and today we'll start at number 6 and finish through 10. All right, here we go. Tools Gold Along the rocky ocean coast in water clear and blue. Six otters liked to swim and play and look for shellfish too. One afternoon, two saw some clams along the ocean floor. Four quickly dove to scoop them up, then hurried back for more. These shells are hard to pry apart, five puzzled otters sighed. Try striking them against a rock, a clever one replied. A group of three tried this technique and found it worked quite well. The other three then followed suit and opened every shell. The six smart otters were content, all had their fill of clams. They each had also learned to use a tool and not their hands. Gone with the wind. The autumn air was growing cold. The days were shorter too. For seven monarch butterflies, a trip was overdue. We should have left here weeks ago. Five butterflies exclaimed. We hate to say we told you so, two know-it-alls proclaimed. They had to get to Mexico before the winter freeze. One led the other six in flight atop a southern breeze. Their journey would be very far a thousand miles or more. The monarchs flew both day and night in groups of three and four. At last, all seven made it home, too tired to celebrate. They vowed next spring to be on time and not procrastinate. Profile in Courage. One hot and sultry afternoon, down at the tidal pool, eight crabs were buried in the sand, just trying to stay cool. The water here is much too warm, five weary crabs complained. The sun is very strong today, the other three explained. A group of four then grabbed their things and headed to the shore. The others followed after them, a second group of four. As seven stood by cautiously, one daring crab jumped in, but soon got hammered by a wave that caught him on the chin. The smallest crab swam out to help. Now in the sea were two. With six left cheering on the shore, this bold and brave rescue. The crabs at last were one big group. Again, they numbered eight. They all then thanked their lucky stars for having friends so great. Antics. One warm and sunny afternoon, the month was late July. Nine ants were rather hungry when a picnic they did spy. Three crept ahead to take a look while six ants stayed behind. Some crackers, cheese, a loaf of bread. Such treasures they did find. This food's too big for us to lift, eight worried ants complained. We'll have to work together then. The oldest one explained.
with one in front and one behind, two carried home the cheese, while seven picked the loaf right up, as easy as you please. The ants were happy as could be, and soon returned for more. They carried two big crackers home in teams of five and four. When finally their task was done, the nine ants felt just great. They each had learned the meaning of the word cooperate. River Sticks Ten beavers left for work one day. They had a lodge to fix. All marched along in single file in search of broken sticks. A group of seven raced ahead and found a fallen tree. They quickly gnawed off all the limbs, then called the other three. How will we get these branches home? Nine puzzled beavers cried. We need to dig a small canal, a clever one replied. So six went back and dug into the river's muddy shore. They soon had made a waterway right to the other four. The trees were now a cinch to move. Five floated them downstream. The other five then built a roof, the best you've ever seen. Their, their home was nearly finished now, with few things left to do. Eight quickly patched the holes with mud, while cracks were filled by two. At last, the beaver's job was done, and ten let out a cheer. They each had earned the title of Domestic Engineer. So, the road to higher math. The journey from counting to calculus begins with numbers. The language of math. But there's more to understanding numbers than learning to count. The real secret is learning to see big numbers in terms of smaller ones. To help early learners become more fluent with numbers, try the following practice challenges. So here are some challenges you can try at home. All right. Count backward from 10 to 1. First, by looking at the parade, and then by remembering and visualizing the order and size of numbers. Find all 10 combinations that make 10. For example, the otters, which were 6, and squirrels, which are 4, together make 10. As you practice, use 1, 2, 3, or even 4 different groups. Now, practice making all the numbers by combining groups in different ways. For example, make an 8 with turtles, 3, and raccoons, 5. Find the even numbers by seeing which numbers can be divided evenly into two groups. The ones that cannot be divided evenly are called the odd numbers. Be sure to learn the even and odd numbers in both incre increasing and decreasing order. Congratulations! You have completed the first leg of your journey. Good luck and remember to think smart the rest of the way. I hope you enjoyed this book, my friends. It's one of my favorites for easy math concepts and everybody can get it. Not everybody's good at math and that's okay. Some of us struggle with it. I admit I wasn't very good at math, but I could read really well. Anyway, have a good day, friends. We'll see you tomorrow.